بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوری ون ہوپ آل آف یو ڈوئنگ ویل ان شاء اللہ ویلکم ٹو انادر پوڈ کاسٹ آف دا پاکستان پیوٹ دس از یور ہوسٹ عبد الباسط خواجہ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ افغانستان اٹس بین ون ایئر آف دا طالبان گورنمنٹ ان دا کنٹری اینڈ دے ور لاٹ آف ویسٹرن اینالسٹ ہو ایٹ پکچر دا ڈومس ڈے ایونٹ اینڈ مے بی ہیڈ پروڈکٹیڈ اے ایئرس آف وار اوور دیئر ان افغانستان بٹ دے ٹن ٹرن آؤٹ لائک دیٹ آفٹر اشرف خنیز اسکیپ طالبان uh took over kabul and it just took uh, a couple of days for them to took control so they have taken one uh, it, they have completed one year of uh, their government in uh, afghanistan and uh, pakistan has been severely gravely affected by by the situation in afghanistan of course the direct cost is being paid by the afghani people themselves so today we are here to understand the situation after one year and uh, what are the solutions for the afghan uh, people and also we want to see uh, how Pakistan can also uh, because Pakistan is one of the most affected uh, of the situation in Afghanistan. So for today we have our guest uh, Musharraf Zadi Saab from Tabad Lab and he's one of the most sensible and credible voices on this subject and perhaps on every subject uh, we discuss over here in Pakistan. Welcome to the show Musharraf Zadi Saab. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for taking out time from your busy schedule for us and for this particular topic. But before I jump to the the main subject of the day today i would like to hear about from you about your life journey and especially of this latest venture of yours the badla kitne hum episodes kar rahe hain aur kitne ghante hamare paas sir aapke sath we have to do a lot of episodes but <laughs> <laughs> one is not enough yeah i think uh, the way i would describe my life journey alhamdulillah is that uh, i uh, feel like uh, uh, i think i'm the luckiest person that ever lived um I was born to parents that uh, I think if you dreamt of the perfect father and the perfect mother, uh, I, you know, it would be my, uh, my daddy and my ammi. And uh, then, uske baad lagatar, I, I think uh, through the blessings of, you know, uh, their kind of hard work and their ethic, um, everything else in my life has been i feel a uh, very great privilege right i was lucky i was born uh, in a country uh, that you know really uh, is a model in many ways for how countries should behave uh, not in every way but certainly in terms of how they treat people today or rather when i was born which was many years ago um, and i was born to people who believed Uh, and have believed in Pakistan now. I think my children are the fourth generation of Pakistanis. My grandparents were Pakistanis by choice. They migrated here. My parents migrated out and then migrated back here. I kind of uh, moved in and out, but you know, my home is here, my life is here, my work is here. Uh, and everything that I am is because of here, because of the people of Pakistan, uh, because of the soldiers of Pakistan that have fought for my freedom to speak and to cr- criticize them. I mean, imagine the people that go and give their lives so that they can listen to me sit. And in their mind, we don't do anything about them. Their bosses and their people, we don't do anything about them. We need to do it. We need to do it. It's our Islamic fund. It's our Pakistani fund. So we won't leave them, inshallah. But you, know, you have to understand the privilege, that, the privilege that you have. And then the privilege of living in a country where you know, there's deep inequality and where I'm on the right side of that equation. Yeah. You know, I, I could have been on the wrong side of that. Uh, just before we were talking about, you know, being from different neighborhoods in Karachi and I feel like I belong to a neighborhood that's on the wrong side of the bridge. Uh, but I spend most of my time on the other side of the bridge. So, this is the good luck. You said that my life's journey, my life's journey, is the good luck. It's the good luck. It's the good luck. It's the good luck. I'm a Muslim in my house. That's why I'm a Muslim. I'm a good person. پالا بڑھایا جتنی بھی میری خامیاں ہیں وہ میری اپنی جو ہے خامیاں ہیں بٹ مائی مام اینڈ ڈیڈ دا بیسٹ پیپل یو نو آئی آئی مین آئی لکی ٹو بی میری ٹو یو نو دا موسٹ بیوٹیفل اینڈ امیزنگ وومن آن دا پلانٹ مائی کڈز ریئلی آئی اسٹینڈ آن دا شولڈرز آف مائی کڈز اینڈ دین یو نو تھرو ورک یو نو آئی مین یو مینشن ڈلف الان بٹ ایون بفور دیٹ ایوری ایوری ویئر دیٹ آئی ورک آئی ورک ٹو دا فارن آفس آئی واز لکی ٹو ورک فار دا بیسٹ باس دیٹ یو نو ون کڈ امیجن ان ہنا ربانی کر Um, my first job uh, was in journalism. 
Shadi Rahman hired me into my first job. What a courageous, amazing woman she is. The ability to work for women, right? Uh, that, where did that come from? It came from my amazing mom, you know, who, who taught me uh, what, it's, w- what being a woman boss is about um, and what it's like to be a man, a man's man. My dad taught me, you know, uh, to have the, the confidence to be. So I, I think there's a lot of these kind of privileges that I think a lot of people in my position might take for granted, but I feel like every second that I get to be me is like, uh, alhamdulillah, right? And, and so my life's journey is getting lucky. The rest of my life, however long I have, needs to be about making sure that not everybody has to depend on luck. Okay, if I was this lucky, to ab 234 million Pakistani hai. To wo sab itne lucky main chahta hu, wo sab itne lucky ho, lekin lucky nahi. Hame kuch systems banane chahiye ki kam az kam usme se kuch cheeze hain. Mujhe meri taaleem achhi thi. Ab dekhiye kaun kiske ghar paida hota hai, kya last name hai, kya mujhe bada fakhr hai apne, you know, apne khandan pe aapko aap khaje hain, aapko apna wo hoga. Let's improve what that means by making sure ke jo bhi achhi cheeze hain about being khwaja or being about zaidi, wo sari cheeze hain sabko, wo Chaudhry ko bhi mile, wo jo hai Mehsood ko bhi mile, right? Wo Jamali ko aur Zaidi ko bhi mile, wo you know, uh, uh, Paul aur uh, John aur James ko bhi mile aur wo jo hai Vinod ko, Mukesh ko aur और प्रताप को भी मिले और ये सारे वो नाम हैं जो इस धरती से निकलते हैं exactly. और उभरते हैं सो एवरीबॉडी एस्पेशली दोस पीपल दैट आर स्केयर्ड और वरीड और ऑन द रॉन्ग साइड ऑफ द ब्रिज दे फील दैट दे कुड ग्रो अप एंड स्पीक एज कॉन्फिडेंटली एज यू स्पीक डेफिनेटली जो मुझे बात आप सुन के मजा आई कि काफी यूथ के साथ भी एंगेजमेंट रहती है एंड देयर इज ऑलवेज अ टॉक बिटवीन प्रिविलेज एंड हार्ड वर्क राइट एंड अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर अनएबल टू see that ke wo apni privileges ko nahi dekh pate so basha like coming from you and i think so this is a message for the youth as well to understand ke hum ek bahut privileged wali jagah se shuru karte hain people who are born in islamabad lahore maybe getting good education uh ek acche mahol ke andar tarbiyat bro if you're pakistani if you're pakistan you were born to a nationality that is the most amazingly imagined yes. and curated nationality national idea Bilkul. on the planet now uski reality kya hai जितना गिनवाने तनकीद जितनी करवानी है मेरी पूरी जिंदगी मैंने यही किया है कि पाकिस्तान में मसले कितने हैं राइट हम सबको पता है मसले क्या हैं बट ये इमेजिन किसने किया था उस शख्सियत का उसकी नफासत मतलब यार आई कैंट बिलीव दैट वी डोंट ऑल गेट टुगेदर एज अ नेशन एवरी मॉर्निंग एंड स्पेंड फिफ्टीन मिनट्स क्राइंग ऑन आवर नीज थैंकिंग अलमिया फॉर जिना right so if you're pakistani that's it right there you have privilege out of 8 billion people on the planet you belong to the 234 million who were imagined to be a powerful people a kind people a people that gave shelter didn't take away shelter a people that gave rights not people who take away rights so agar galat ho raha hai to wo galat hamari wajah se ho raha hai usme pakistan ka ya jinnah ka ya hamare aba wa ajdad ki fault nahi hai ye hamar ye hum kar rahe hain so we have to be better बट नॉट बिकॉज यू नो हमने किसी और मुल्क का कोई और जो है फंडा जो है वो अपना के वो करना है वी हैव टू बी बेटर बिकॉज शेड वी यू नो वी वी वर इमेजिन डिफरेंटली देन हाउ वी बिहेव एंड सो एंड एंड आई थिंक बिकॉज मैंने जिस मुल्क में मैं पैदा हुआ उसका मैंने तस्करा किया यू नो आई वॉज बॉर्न एंड रेज इन कैनेडा एंड दे हैव लॉट्स ऑफ प्रॉब्लम राइट इंक्लूडिंग रेसिजम विच आई पर्सनली एक्सपीरियंस लाइक ऑल ऑफ दैट बट they weren't imagined with any grand ideas but they had a set of organizing principles aur un principles ko wo hone karte rahe wahan pe bhi federal government hai wahan pe bhi un logon ko zuban bolni padti hai jo wo nahi chahte jo english medium log in canada ke un sab ko french mein jo hai wo padhna padta hai udhar to koi gali galoch nahi hoti yahan pe koi banda jo hai do pakhtoon jo hai aapas mein pashto mein baat kar le jo teesra jo mahajir aur punjabi hai wo yun karke aankhein banate hain ya agar do punjabi bhai ya 15 punjabi bhai jo hai wo bus mein baith ke ek dusre punjabi ch gal kar rahe hain to matlab jo mahajir hoga ya jo sindhi hoga wo kahega yaar isko mera khayal nahi hai ye ye kya ye kya ho raha hai ya isi tarah matlab yaar we thoda dil bada kare we were imagined as a great people so i just wanted to speak on privilege Privilege begins by being Pakistani. Once you're Pakistani, you're already privileged. Now, within that, of course, there are grades. Yes. And of course, as I said, I feel like I, I've lucked out on every front. So my life story is a story of getting lucky. But we have to make life stories in Pakistan where we don't depend on luck, where we build systems that ensure that on some things everybody has an equal footing. Yes, it's it's also a story from the angle I see, and I've been following you for a decade and everything. We were speaking about it before the show had started. 
it it is i see it as a journey of hard work as well you have spoken on issues and you have never minced your words and today we will get into the subject the topic of the day and believe me i think so the topics we were discussing right now i think so we have to do a couple of podcast with you so i'm going to take time and uh, we're going to match some schedules with chale aaj aaj wala to karte hain aaj wala exactly to sir aaj ka jo hamara topic hai afghanistan ka hai aur afghanistan has been a burning issue for the past 20 years and everything but ye jo uh, us ki jo withdrawal hui hai afghanistan se pichle saal uh this there's, there's a criticism that they could have they they rather than dimming the light slowly the withdrawal slowly they really did it in haste uh now it's done i don't know if there's much to debate on it but would have if they would have done it differently would it would it have been better uh transition koi smooth hoti ya ye jo ho raha hai yahi hona tha aapki rai mein iske dekhen america duniya ka ghq hai ji could they have done things better <laughs> yeah definitely right to kya ye pakistan ka role hai aur pakistan ke leaders ka role hai ki wo america ki uski lesson learning kare ya usko sabak sikhaye ye ye is pe sochna chahiye mera khayal hai ki sari nations equal hoti hain all all countries once you are sovereign you could be you know like uh, the vatican which is like you know a couple of square blocks or you could be uh, china which is huge but at the un you're equal so at one level you think nahi yaar pakistan kyun chup kar ke baithe agar hame lagta hai ki america ne zyati ki hai america is kind of you know throws its weight around treats other countries like crap destroys societies and the social fabric and everything maybe we should we should stand up but i think my own view we should stand up when we can stand up here's a country that needs a 1.2 billion dollar injection from the imf to stay afloat 1.2 billion dollars like i would encourage you to dekh rahe hain wo zara thoda isko samjhe ki ye kitne kam paise hain to itna zyada makhroos aur majboor jo hai wo pakistan hai maishi taur pe aur ye normal nahi hai we're not economically a normal country right normal uh, indonesia bhi nahi tha late 90s mein jab 98 mein crash hua south east asia uh, jo financial जी. crisis tha shuru wo taqreeban indonesia se hi aap samjhe shuru hua और उधर भी फौज जो है वो बड़ी जो है तरफदारी भी करती थी और बिल्कुल हर चीज़ में जो है घुसी हुई थी सत्ताईस हज़ार फौजी अफसर जो हैं वो सिविलियन जॉब्स में थे सर्विंग हमने तो कुछ नहीं देखा हम तो एक वो बेचारे एयर मार्शल जो है वो अब बेचारे तो नहीं खैर माशाल्लाह लेकिन वो पी आई टेक ओवर करते हैं या एक जो है वो जर्नैल जो है वो वापडा टेक ओवर करता है तो हमारी चीखें निकल जाती हैं सत्ताईस थे लेकिन सबको निकाला उन्होंने और फौज ने खुद उनको पुल आउट किया फिर उन्होंने कहा यार हमारी बड़ी स्ट्रेंथ है ठीक है हम जजीरे शजीरों में बटे हुए हैं लेकिन और उधर टीमोर लेस्टे में जो है हमारे खिलाफ इंसर्जेंसी हो रही है ऐसा करते हैं यार इसको ज़रा कंसोलिडेट करते हैं और इकानमी पे काम करते हैं बीस साल से इकानमी पर काम कर रहे हैं नाउ इट्स ए नॉर्मल कंट्री नाउ इट डज नीड टू गो अराउंड आस्किंग पीपल फॉर मनी बट इट स्टिल हैज़ टू प्ले द जियो पोलिटिकल गेम अमरीका जाते हैं तो अमरीका की चापलूसी करते हैं बीजिंग जाते हैं तो बीजिंग की करते हैं कोई उनकी गैरत जो है उसमें कमी नहीं आती पूरी दुनिया में सर उठा के इंडोनेशियन सिटीजन जो है वो चलता है तुर्की पूरी दुनिया में सर उठा के क्या मतलब जो है वो धाणे मारते हुए जो है सीना तान के जो है वो मतलब लुट मचाई हुई है और क्या बड़े सबसे बड़ी दुनिया के मुसलमान हैं सारे मुसलमानों के ठेकेदार हैं कल क्या हुआ किससे दोस्ती हुई चुम्मा चाटी किसके साथ कर रहे थे इसराइल के साथ जस्ट ये स्टडे सो वो वट्स दैट क्या बगैरत है तुर्क सो तुर्क से ज्यादा गैरतमंद कोई है ही नहीं वो जी सऊदी अरब सिर्फ तेल पे सिर्फ तेल पे उनकी स्ट्रेटेजिक जो है वो आप देखें कि किस तरह से उन्होंने पोजिशनिंग की है नियोम का प्रोजेक्ट देखें वो कितने फॉरवर्ड लुकिंग जो है कहते हैं जी ये ड्रीम है आइडिया है यही जो है शेख मोहम्मद के बारे में कहते थे एवरीबडी इज टू मेक फन ऑफ द विजन दट शेख मोहम्मद हैड एवरी वन दट्स वॉचिंग एन यू एन आई वी गोट दुबई वो लाइक ब्रेथ टेकिंग डिजनीलैंड है कल्चर नहीं है ड्यूड build the economy yes. build the buildings build the infrastructure make it a fun safe place to live make it where young people want to be and and the culture will come too right True. it's it's so so the question you asked yes, it, it was about yes it, it no i'm coming to the question yes. i haven't forgotten On, the question you asked was okay, should america have done better yes. well i mean at a philosophical philosophical or even a material level of course 
Watching human beings hang from the bottom of planes and watching them fall to their death should have scarred us. But I don't think we're capable of being scarred anymore because of Daesh, because of the U.S. war on terror, because of so many from Pol Pot to Pinochet. We've watched so much murder and mayhem that we have evolved in a human way, fundamentally evolved. And our tripwire trip hona chahiye na wo ab uski sensitivity jo hai wo pata nahi kis level pe so of course the us should have done better to be fair to pakistan there was no point in 20 plus years of the us engagement in afghanistan where pakistan didn't tell america yaar ye enjoy nahi hona thoda jab wo gal kar le ana de naal beh jao sula sula kar lo because ye enjoy nahi hona this was consistently uh you know sort of uh, communicated to the americans as you already know i worked at the foreign office for a short period during this 20 year period and uh, i can look like, on authority there was never a time where we weren't advising them to sit down and work it out eventually they did and it took them two years but even the pull out was was a disaster i wouldn't i wouldn't blame the whole thing on america it's certainly not because of pakistan pakistan did everything in its power to make it a better transition. I think a big chunk of the blame actually falls on Ashraf Ghani himself. Um, I certainly had very uh, uh, different expectations from Ashraf Ghani. I followed him since I was a young man. He was a, he was a very well-known scholar and he used to work at the World Bank and he'd written a book about failed states and how to build state capacity. Uh, and I would still recommend Claire Lockhart and Ashraf Ghani's book um, on, on failed states. I think it's a really important a uh, book about state capacity i thought that he would be more courageous and he would stand by his people and by his country and he would negotiate a settlement he didn't uh, and i think that was to the to the great loss and detriment of the afghan people he was out of choice what were the reasons for him not to be able to take a decision he escaped and everything fell down I, I guess the way I would, because I, I hope Afghans are watching and hearing, but even if they're not, I, I think we in Pakistan need to take a less parochial and, and kind of, you know, superior view of Afghans. So the way I would answer that is I would ask you, could Imran Khan have managed the, vo- uh, the vote of no confidence better so that petrol didn't go from 170 or 190 yes. to whatever, 240 rupees? Could, Gen- uh, could General Bajwa have managed it better? Could Nawaz Sharif Imran, but principally Imran Khan, the most powerful person in the country, why, why did he have to go the way that he did? Itna zyada kharab hona zaruri tha. So, dekhe na, seeing nahi lagewe Afghanon ke. Ashraf Ghani itna hi koi weak or dysfunctional or uh, buzdil admi hai, jitna Pakistan mein ek nahi darjano leader reh chuke hai. Aur mein Khan ki baat nahi kar raha, mein baaki naam bhi aapke saamne. Dekhe, agar ashraf ghani buzdil hai bewakoof hai anti afghan hai to then we have to phir hame tabsara karna padega yahan kitni dafa us noiyat ke catastrophes hui hain 1947 se leke 75 saal mein ginna shuru kare ginau or should we leave it for another episode so that would be that would be the topic so, for another so podcast. the point is that we have to take a kinder and more owned view of yes. ashraf ghani ashraf ghani jo hai jab tak mera nahi banega na by the way iska ye matlab nahi hai ki mulla brother mera nahi hai ji mulla brother bhi mera hai ashraf ghani bhi mera hai unme jo tajik hai wo bhi mere hai uzbek bhi mere hai hazare bhi mere hai pakhtun bhi mere hai aur phir usse zyada aham ki yahan pe on this side of the border भैया अपनों को तो मैं कह रहा हूं आप आप उनको ऑन करें यहां पे तो आपको जो है मतलब आग लग जाती है अपनों को ऑन करने में आपको अली वजीर नहीं ऑन करना जेल में फेंकना है आपको अपने पाले हुए अपने जो है उनको आप निकाल देते हैं शबाज गिल को आपने जो है मतलब अली वजीर बनाया हुआ है ये दिस वी हैव टू डू बेटर सो शुड अशरफ गनी हैव डन बेटर मैंने खुद कहा कि जिम्मेदारी अशरफ गनी की है लेकिन क्या अशरफ गनी ने जिम्मेदारी पूरी नहीं की इस ये कोई बहुत ही अजीब बात है पाकिस्तानियों के लिए इतनी अजीब नहीं होनी चाहिए क्योंकि हमने एक नहीं एक दर्जन अशरफ गनी हम सह चुके हैं ट्रू ट्रू सम मॉडर्न वॉरफेयर एंड द डेमोक्रेटिक इंस्टीट्यूशन द यू एस हैड बिल्ड इन अफगानिस्तान इन द पास्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स द काइंड ऑफ फेल टू डिलीवर अब जो हालात हैं वो एक और अपनी एक नई रिफॉर्म से गुजर रहे हैं आर थिंग्स फाइनली इम्प्रूविंग इन अफगानिस्तान इन टर्म्स ऑफ गवर्नेंस नो बिकॉज आई थिंक दे आर नॉट गोइंग थ्रू रिफॉर्म देर इज नो कॉम्पैक्ट there's no constitution there's no sign of a constitution and there's no sign that there's a process through which there'll be a road map for a constitution why is a constitution important 
again, I would say the last people to speak on this topic should be Pakistanis. Right? We don't treat our constitution with any respect. We watch uh, family get murdered on the road in Sahival. And we have prime ministers commit to justice and they can't deliver it because we don't like our constitution. We like total and utter impunity and freedom to do whatever we want. And whoever is the most powerful gets away with the most. But what it seeps through society is at the lowest level, the least powerful person in this country will also seek to get away with what they can. When the most powerful set the, set the stage, then the least powerful will do the same. So we have an injustice. And by the way, a lot of the things Khan Saab says are absolutely spot on. Who he says it about is the issue. You can't pick the fifth most powerful group in the country and decide that they are the source of all evil and ignore the top three, four, five sort of, you know, yeah. uh, most, uh, most uh, able violators yeah. of the rules of the game. Every group. Ye hum, uh, so we have four or five people in this company. Mein is fakt. There's three people behind the camera, two in front. There's a certain code under which we operate. Now, people like me test that code, right? So maybe, you know, I don't like something that the sound guy does. So this has happened. I was in a TV studio once and the guy put the thing in the ear. I, I was having a bad day. He pushed once. I said, no, 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 no. He pushed twice. I said, yeah, please. He kept doing it. Maybe he was also having a bad day. Maybe he didn't hear what I was saying. Maybe I was oversensitive. But the third time I said, 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 that contract, that compact, that constitution in that moment broke down. The compact is that he put it in my hand, he put it in his hand, I am sitting there, I have adjusted it to it and I have to listen to it. So when it breaks down, now we're off-road. Now somebody needs to step into that vacuum and get us back on-road. In that case, it was the host. The host has said, first of all, I hit my head because we are close friends. I hit my head and I saw in his eyes, what are you doing? I'm afraid of God. I said, it's cold. I said, that guy, he hit me with the same way. اسی طرح سے اس نے گوری یا اس سے زیادہ سخت ماری اس نے میرا آ کے جو ہے میرا زیدی بھائی آپ سوری میں مجھ سے غلط میں نے کہا نہیں نہیں جانی کوئی بات نہیں میں نے اس کو پیار کیا اس نے مجھے پیار کیا وی موڈ آن سلا ہوئی نا اچھا ناؤ ہاؤ اگین یو مائی دا ویو مائی ریسک یار یہ کیا باتیں کر رہا ہے واٹ از دس ہیو ٹو ڈو ود افغانستان اوکے فرسٹ اگین لیٹ اسٹارٹ ود پاکستان وین دیر از اے بریک ڈاؤن سم بڈی نیڈس ٹو کس اینڈ میک اپ اف وی ہیو بریک ڈاؤن پارٹیز آن ڈفرینٹ سائز آف دا ڈیوائڈ دیٹ سے نہیں آل شو ہم میں وکھانا ہے نو نہیں میں وکھانا نہیں میں وکھانا نہیں میں وکھانا تو پھر دکھاتے رہو ایک دوسرے کو ہو کیئرز اباؤٹ ایوری بڈی ایلس ناؤ گو ٹو افغانستان دیر از نو کانورسیشن اباؤٹ سلح سماجی معاہدہ انس حقانی ہیز ٹو بی ایبل ٹو ہولڈ حمد اللہ محب ان ہز آرمز اینڈ فیل اور ایٹ لیسٹ میک دا پیپل آف افغانستان فیل آر بردرز اینڈ سسٹرز ان افغانستان نیڈ ٹو فیل دیٹ دے گاٹ دس دیٹ انس اکانی اور حمد اللہ محب ویسے اپنے ایک دوسرے کو مارنے پہ تلے ہوئے ہیں لیکن فار دس بیٹرمنٹ آف دا پیپل آف افغانستان دے ول بیری دا ہیچ اٹ اینڈ دے ول سٹ ٹوگیدر اینڈ دے ول ورک فار اے بیٹر افغانستان یہ کمپیکٹ دنیا میں ہر ملک میں ڈسٹرائے ہو رہا ہے انڈیا میں ہو چکا ہے انڈیا میں انفارچونیٹلی فار دا ریسٹ آف دا ورلڈ اینڈ فار انڈیا جس طریقے سے ہوا ہے اس میں جو ڈومیننٹ چیز آئی ہے وہ بڑی بھیانک اور خطرناک ہے وہ ہے ایک ریلیجیس رائٹ ونگ ایکسٹریمسٹ بارڈرنگ آن فاشسٹ اف ناٹ فلی فاشسٹ رجیم برطانیہ میں ہاں برطانیہ میں انہوں نے یورپ سے تو قطع تعلقی کر لی ہے اور پتہ نہیں کتنی چیزوں سے کرنے والے ہیں امریکہ میں ٹرمپ کو لے آئے اور پھر سے لانے کے جو ہے وہ مطلب آثار جو ہیں وہ فلی ہیں فرانس میں آلموسٹ ہو گیا ہنگری میں ہو گیا فلپینس میں ہو گیا برازیل میں ہو گیا جاپان میں ہو کے گزر گیا لیکن جاپانی سفسٹیکیٹڈ اتنے کہ اس کا شور ہمیں آتا نہیں ہے بٹ جاپان از آلسو سوٹ آل دیز کنٹریز از گریٹ کنٹریز جو ہم دیکھتے تھے انڈین ڈیموکریسی کو ہم ایڈمائر کر کے یار کیا انہوں نے جو ہے نا سول ملٹری کا جو ہے وہ کیا ہوا ہے ہر جگہ بریک ڈاؤن ہے سو وی آر ناٹ اے لون پاکستان میں بریک ڈاؤن ہوا ہے بہت برا ہے تشویش نہ کے وی شوڈ بی ورلڈ اباؤٹ اٹ بٹ اٹس ناٹ دی اینڈ آف دا ورلڈ دا ہول ورلڈ از گوئنگ تھرو دس افغانستان از پارٹ آف دا ورلڈ اینڈ اٹ از پارٹ آف اس اینڈ ہو وی آر تو اگین آئی وانٹ دا ویورس ٹو فیل دیٹ افغانستان از ناٹ دیٹ ایب نارمل یس دا طالبان از این ایب نارمل تھنگ ان ورلڈ افیئرز بٹ دیٹس ناٹ نیو 
The Taliban is a product of the early 90s. Most of the people watching probably weren't even born then. But what I want to assure them is that this abnormality that was introduced in Afghanistan was not a choice of the Afghan people. They didn't make a decision that we will take this in our country. Many people have taken it. And Pakistan has taken it in the third, fourth, and fifth number. Many people have taken it in the third, fourth, and fifth number. Many people have taken it in the third, fourth, and fifth number. So that we will have our benefits. Remember to compact. We talked about compact ki between me and the sound guy. Then yes. we took it to the level of Khan Sahib and Bajwa Sahib, Khan Sahib and Nawaz Sharif. Then we took it to the level of Anas Akhani and Hamdullah Mohib. I'm taking the name of Jan Bujh. Ki Achha. But there's also a global compact. That's the UN, Jee. right? That's the rule of law. Okay. No system, ko, global system, ko dekhi, ye nahi kehta ki yaar ye compact is working. Ke Palestinians are not working for Palestinians. کشمیریوں کے لیے تو کام نہیں کر رہا ایون آئی وڈ سے افغانس کے لیے پیپل فرام سوڈین پیپل فرام سومالیا نہیں کام کر رہا جو ملک ان چیزوں کو دیکھ کے خود نہیں سدھرتے وہ پھر دے اینڈ اپ لائک دوز کنٹریز آج سے پچاس سال پہلے اس طرح کم ملک تھے اب زیادہ ہیں اور بڑھیں گے پاکستان نے فیصلہ کرنا ہے کہ اس نے اس کیٹیگری میں جانا ہے یا نہیں ٹو فائنلی کنیکٹڈ اگین ٹو افغانستان The ability of Afghans to sit down and get along and have a compact and a constitution and reform will inform and decide and shape whether Pakistan can do or not. Okay. One of the reasons Pakistan is dysfunctional is because this is Afghanistan situation. Hai na? If you don't sort that out and the most stakes in a better Afghanistan belong to Pakistan. So we have to do everything we can to support them. And that means not worrying about which trend they are running. بالکل وہ سماجی معاہدے کی بات ہوئی کانٹریکٹ کی بات ہوئی ہمارے یہاں بھی ڈیبیٹ لگی رہتی ہے اس چیز کے اوپر اور بہت سارے لوگ ہیں بڑے واقف نہیں ہیں اس چیز کے اوپر سیونٹی تھری کی کانسٹیٹیوشن میں کے معاملے میں اور یہی میرے خیال سے جیسے آپ نے کیا کہ وہ سوشل کانٹریکٹ جو ہے وہ اس معاشرے میں بہت ضروری ہے کہ افغانستان کے اندر وہ آئے اور اس طریقے سے وہ لوگ آگے بڑھ سکیں آپ نے ایک اور بات کی انٹرنیشنل کمیونٹی کے افغانستان بینگ اے پارٹ آف دا ورلڈ ورلڈ کپ مانے گا کہ افغانستان از پارٹ آف دا ورلڈ وین ڈی یو تھنک ریکگنیشن از آن دا لائن آن دا کارڈس سو اگین آئی وڈ سی جسٹ لائک آئی کائنڈ آف یو نو آئی پکڈ آن خان صاحب کے ووٹ آف نو کانفیڈنس میں یس دیر ان کے ساتھ زیادتی مطلب ہوئی ہے دس آئی تھنک نو نو ٹو ویز اباؤٹ اٹ اسپیشلی کیونکہ جو لوگ ان کو لائے تھے انہوں نے ہی نکالا لیکن پھر بھی ذمہ داری ان کی کم از کم ففٹی ون پرسینٹ تو بنتی نا ہی واز دا موسٹ پاور فل گائی ان دا کنٹری ہو آر دا موسٹ پاور فل پیپل ان افغانستان ٹوڈے دا طالبان دا طالبان So who is principally responsible for helping the world accept Afghanistan as a normal country? The rest of the world or the Afghans? The Afghans. There you go. Pakistan's economy. It's everybody else's job to fix Pakistan's economy. MBS should be bailing us out. MBZ should be bailing us out. The Turks should be bailing us out. It's their responsibility or it's Pakistan's responsibility? Pakistan's responsibility, of course. So the Afghan uh, rulers have a responsibility to reach out to everybody in their country and to create a compact that is not only acceptable to all Afghans, but also acceptable to the rest of the world. Those are the rules of the game. And we don't have to like it. True. But those are the rules of the game. Mushal Zaydi Sahib, you're an expert at this, at, at, at this topic in public policy and everything. If you had to suggest a series of action, you would suggest to the Taliban government that, bro, these four things are done. What's the problem? اس سے یو نو تھنگس ول گیٹ بیٹر فار یو ریکگنیشن بہتر ہو جائے گی اپنے حالات بہتر کر سکو گے وٹ وڈ یور سجیشن وٹ بی ان دیٹ امیڈیٹلی انگیج دا یو ایس ان کنڈیشنالٹیز لسٹ اینڈ نیگوشیٹ دیٹ لسٹ ڈونٹ گیو اٹ مور دین تھری منتھس بٹ ان تھری منتھس سیکیور اے لسٹ آف تھنگس دیٹ یو نیڈ ٹو ڈو ٹو سیکیور ریکگنیشن نمبر ون اف یو ڈونٹ گیو ریکگنائز یو بینکس کین آپریٹ ابراڈ یو کین ٹریڈ تھوڑا بہت ٹریڈ وہ کر رہے ہیں لیکن بہت مشکلیں ہو رہی ہیں ان کو سب سے بڑا اس وقت ایشو افغان بہن یا بھائی کے لیے ہمارے پیٹ پوجا ہے روٹی دال روٹی ہے وہی مسائل یہاں پہ لیکن وہاں پہ زیادہ سیوی وی ہیو ٹو فائنڈ اے وے ٹو نارملائز افغانستان اکانومی اینڈ دا رسپانسبلٹی فار دیٹ اف دے آر پیپل دیٹ آر آن ٹیر لسٹس then either people have to remove those names from the list or the Afghans have to remove them from government. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't accept, demand that the world accept you, but then look at a list that's 20 years old where you know that these people are unacceptable to the world community and you say, no, I have to take this person. Then if you have to take this person, then you have to take it. By the way, that's exactly what's happened to Pakistan. 
Pakistan has gone through this process of the last three or four years. It's been in a very sophisticated way. But the FATF thing is exactly the same story, right? You, you have to choose your path. The path. And the path is not ghulami. This is nonsense. The path is self, self attainment, self actualization. The path is the path of power. How do you get power? By standing shoulder to shoulder with people, by taking away the things that allow them to make you a subject, to make you a ghulam. What is the matter here? That all the things that we are in the way of the ghulam, we are in the way of the ghulam, we are in the way of the ghulam. اور پھر ہم کہیں کہ نہیں ہم غلام نہیں ہم باس ہیں یار یہ کون سی مطلب کس طرح کی منطق ہے یہ سو وی وی ہیو ٹو گیٹ ریئل اینڈ رائٹ ناؤ فار دا بیڈ فار دا بیسٹ انٹرسٹ آف دا پیپل آف افغانستان دا طالبان اینڈ دا خانی نیٹ ورک ہیو ٹو گیٹ ریئل ڈیفینیٹلی بٹ کچھ آٹھ دس مشنز ہیں میرے خیال سے دنیا میں چائنا ہے میرے خیال سے اس میں پاکستان رشیا ترکمنستان ایران کچھ لوگوں نے مطلب دے ہیو ناٹ ریکگنائز دا گورنمنٹ بٹ ان کے مشنز جو ہیں یہاں پہ ہیں طالبان کے انسٹرکشنس پہ یو کے از دا یو کے ہیز پریزنٹ لاٹ آف ویسٹرن نیشنز آلسو دیٹ ہیز کنٹریز ڈو دے ٹو امپروو دس سچویشن ان افغانستان ان ٹرمس آف ریکگنیشن آئی تھنک سو دیٹس دا ریکگنیشن از ناٹ ہیپن ان لیس دیر از اے ریکگنیشن آن دی افغان سائڈ دیٹ دیر آر سم نیمس دیٹ آر انسپٹیبل Right now, I don't know exactly. I know some of everybody knows some yes. of them, but it's a longer list. They have to sit down and negotiate that list. Yes. And this is the thing that is happening. That means, Emmanuel Zawari's war has happened. Okay. Are we seeing them? Hard is an interesting. Yes. Uh, so, sort of diplomatically, I mean, it's sort of politically correct. It's an execution. It's an execution. It's an execution. Yeah. Uh, what is it? 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 I don't think there's a question of transitioning. And I gave a couple of interviews on this initially when they came in. There was this talk about Taliban 2.0. Yes. So if 2.0 means that there's a new generation of Talibs, yes. If it means that they're much softer, yes. But they're much softer of a version of who they are. And, the, and who they are is not 2.0 or 1.0. Who they are is the Taliban. Yes. So this idea that they're reverting, no, I, this is who they are. Uh, you asked about different steps. I, talked to, I only talked about recognition yes. and removing some names, right? Yes. Yes. There's more. Yes. I mean, the easiest one in the world is girls' education. The easiest one in the world is uh, the mobility and the freedom that every woman on the planet Earth has been given from Allah, the right to be mobile, to own property, to work for a living, to have the dignity of, afforded to all human beings. So unless the Taliban are willing to meet the world halfway on reality, میں سیکنڈری ایجوکیشن کے بارے میں سن رہا تھا دے واز این انٹرویو ڈاکٹر کلندر عباد گیو لاسٹ 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 منتھ ٹو بی بی سی اینڈ دے وی واز سینگ کہ انفراسٹرکچر کا بڑا پرابلم ہم نے انفراسٹرکچر کریٹ کرنا ہے اس کے بعد آپ تو علی فلان آپ نے کیا ہوا ہے اینڈ آئی ڈو انڈرسٹینڈ دیر از اے نیڈ آف بیٹر فیسلٹیز ایجوکیشن فیسلٹیز فار چلڈرن ٹو یو نو اسٹڈی ان اے ویری لرننگ انوائرمنٹ مگر تھوڑا سا آرگیومنٹ افغانستان کے معاملے میں تھوڑا سا ویک لگ رہا ہے میرے مطلب دس کین بی مائی اوپینین کین بی رانگ دیٹ بیکاز دے ڈونٹ ہیو سیپریٹ اسکولس سیکنڈری اسکولس فار دا گرلس دیٹس وائی دے ہیو بین بین ایبل ٹو اسٹارٹ دی گرلس ایجوکیشن سینس اٹس گاربیج آئی مین یو نو پارٹس آف مائی مدرز ارلی لائف شی اسٹڈیڈ انڈر اے لیمپ پوسٹ دیر واز نو سیپریٹ گرلس اسکولس اور بوائز اسکولس Uh, the, you know, and for some parts of her life, there, there wasn't a school, you know, so, uh, and there wasn't electricity. So I think this, this idea somehow that, uh, uh, you know, well, they're, 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 they're blocking uh, girls' education because of infrastructure. Unfortunately, uh, again, I think they, we, have to, we have to embrace all of Hans as our sisters and brothers. But when our brothers kind of, you know, spew nonsense, we have to be clear about it. Uh, every Afghan child and every Pakistani child deserves the chance to get an education and to enlighten their minds. And anybody standing in the way is anti-Afghan and anti-Pakistan. This is def- definitely. And this is something they have to look upon. اور یہ کنڈیشنلٹی اگر دنیا کی ہے بھی تو وہ ان کے فائدے کے لیے ان کے بچوں کے فائدے کے لیے نہیں میں کہتا ہوں ہم وہ بھی نہیں مانتے کہ یہ جو نوشن ہے کہ باقی دنیا ہمارے فائدے میں باقی دنیا کیوں افغانوں کے فائدے میں ہوگی باقی دنیا اپنے فائدے کے پیچھے پاکستانی کو کوئی کچھ کہتا ہے وہ اپنے مفاد کے لیے وجہ سے کہتا ہے پاکستانی انہیں صرف ایک میٹرکس بنانا ہے کہ وہ جو باقی ساری چیزیں کہہ رہے ہیں اس میں وہ کون سی چیزیں ہیں جس میں میرا بھی فائدہ ہے وہ تو فوراً ہی کر لیتے ہیں نا اور پھر وہ چیزیں ہیں جس میں مجھے سوال ہے اس پہ ڈیبیٹ کر لیتے ہیں اور وہ چیزیں ہیں جس پہ مجھے پتہ ہے میرا نقصان ہے وہ میں بالکل نہیں کرتا یہ اٹس اے ویری سمپل لائک دس نن آف دس از راکٹ سائنس 
پاکستان کا رول جو افغانستان کے لیے رہا ہے پاکستان ایک افغانستان انٹر منسٹیریل کوآڈینیشن کمیٹی بھی ہے جس نے کافی چیزوں میں فیسلٹیشن کی ہے ویزا کی بھی کچھ ویٹ کے معاملات ہیں کوئی ریفربشمنٹ آف ہاسپٹلس ہیں پاکستان افغانستان کے لیے آواز بھی اٹھاتا رہتا ہے لوگوں کے لیے آڈینس کے لیے خاص طور سے پاکستان میں آئی وانٹ یو ٹو ایکسپلین دم وائی از اٹ امپورٹنٹ فار پاکستان ٹو کیپ ایڈوکیٹنگ فار افغانستان پیس اینڈ اسٹیبلٹی ان دا ریجن کیوں کبھی کا لوگ یہ سمجھتے ہیں کہ کبھی کار ایک یہ تاثر ہے کچھ انسیڈنٹس میں ہوئے ہیں بٹ ایک تاثر ہے کہ جی ہم لوگوں میں کوئی بہت زیادہ نفرت ہیں آپ نے گراس روٹ پہ بھی کام کیا ہوا میں بھی جا کے کام کرتا ہوں دیر از دے از اے بانڈ وچ آئی تھنک سو لاٹ آف پیپل ہیو ڈو ناٹ ہیو ناٹ ایکسپیرینس ان دیٹ وے آپ کی پاکستان کی دس از اے کوشچن دیٹ بین آس لاٹ آف ٹائمس وائی از پاکستان ایڈوکیٹنگ ایک تو یہ کہ آن دا پیپل ٹو پیپل لیول لیٹ می جسٹ گیو یو پرسنل ایکسپیرینس تاکہ لوگوں کو تھوڑی سی Uh, again, it's one person's anecdote and it could be true, it could be false. It's not a question that there's a huge amount of uh, negative sentiment in Afghanistan toward the Pakistani state. And that has been cultivated. In the last 20 years, America was the only one who was the only one who was the only one who was the only one. So a lot of the narratives that were sold and, and, uh, and, and bought and adopted were ones in which every evil and every wrong thing that was happening in Afghanistan was happening because of Pakistan. That is a widely held uh, sentiment in Afghanistan. And that's, I think there are some seeds of truth in that, but certainly it's, it's a wildly exaggerated uh, set of uh, narratives, the negative ones. However, um, I went to Afghanistan, I think for the first time in 2008. Uh, for the UN. And when I was doing my briefing, uh, I was, uh, they insisted that I not self-identify as Pakistani. And I was like, bro, like, and they're like, well, you know, you haven't, you know, like, I had mentioned that my two children were born in the UP. There are two immigrants. So, uh, I said, well, you have UP background. I was like, yeah, like, <laughs> fine. But that's like, that's for a podcast. That's not how, that's not how I introduce myself, right? So, <laughs> um, I mean, certainly a part of who I am, but the point is that I'm Pakistani. Um, so, I had this very weird uh, kind of uh, resistance that I don't know what to do. تو میں پہلی دفعہ کہیں گیا باہر کسی اس پہ مشن پہ ہم تھے اور کسی نے مجھ سے اردو میں جو ہے مجھ سے بات کی اور دیٹ پرسن ہو آس بی دیٹ کوشچن ہی واس تاجک اینڈ سو یو نو میں نے اردو میں جواب دیا تو کہتا ہے ہمیں لگ رہا تھا کہ آپ پاکستانی ہیں تو میں نے کہا میں ہنڈریڈ پرسینٹ پاکستانی ہوں کہتے ہیں ہاں ہمیں ایکچولی پتہ تھا پاکستان میں نے کہا کیسے کہتے ہیں ہم آپ کے کالم پڑھتے ہیں میں نے کہا دیٹ ٹیکس کیئر دیٹ رائٹ آئی یو There's only one country on the planet جہاں پہ مجھے جس پیار سے پورے ملک میں سو میں مزار شریف بھی گیا ہوا ہوں میں ادھر اپنا جہاں پہ بامیان میں جو اسٹیچوز تھے وہاں پہ بھی گیا ہوا ہوں جلال آباد گیا ہوا ہوں کابل گیا ہوا ہوں آئی دیر واز نو پلیس ان افغانستان ویر آئی واز ان ٹریٹیڈ لائک اے پرنس اینڈ آئی واز پاکستانی ایوری ویئر دا پیپل آف افغانستان جسٹ لائک آور پیپل یار دیکھو نا ٹھیک ہے وہ کوئی پولیٹیکل ڈبیٹ ہوتی ہے کہتے جی یہ مہاجروں نے یہ کیا ہے وہ کیا ہے لیکن پٹ این افغان مہاجر ان فرنٹ آف اے پاکستانی اینڈ آئی تھنک دے وڈ بی ویری فیو لائک اینملز امنگ اس سملرلی ان افغانستان دے آر ہیومن اینڈ دے آر ٹرو ٹو ہو دیر نیشنز آر دی افغان نیشن از دا از اے لائن ہارٹیڈ big warm embrace it's a bear of a nation hamara bhi exactly jo hai i would describe pakistanis the same way so over the men over the last 40 years more than six and a half million afghans have come to pakistan as migrants and and so-called refugees and you know uh, almost three million of them are still here and you know that's uh, like i think that's great it's great for pakistan it is a strength for pakistan that they're here Uh, similarly, uh, the other way, I, I've never found uh, any kind of uh, innate hostility at the human level. So I just wanted to clarify that these uh, issues are a lot of propaganda. Some of the state's decisions are also like that. But I don't think that there is a lot of fear in the people. Now, because it's not, then what you had to ask about is why is it in Pakistan's interest? Yes. Right? Well, it's in Pakistan's interest because, partly because of what I just said, because so many millions of Afghans, I would call them, those are Pakistani Afghans. You can see them. ID card, do ya na do. Somebody who's lived here 20, 30 years, 
they're Pakistani, dude. Like it just, uh, you know. Um, so I think they should be able to live here, and they should build uh, property here, and they should work here, and they should sell things here, and they should help their own country, and and they should speak whatever language they want. Uh, Pakistan's very big, and the thing about big things is it can absorb a lot. Three, four hashtags on Twitter are not going to end Pakistan. Two, three uh, slogans against the army are not going to hurt the army. This is a very powerful. So we have to be a lot more self-confident. Have some more pride in yourself. And when I say that, that's not to say that you start reacting to every galam galoch. Uh, for example, the reason I don't respond to every galam galoch, block karna maine shuru kiya abhi recently. But galam galoch ko main jawab isliye nahi isliye nahi deta ki main usse darta hu ya mujhe galam galoch aati nahi hai. When we're off air, aapne dekha hoga mujhe bahut achhi tarah aati hai. Aur main istemal karne mein takalluf bhi nahi karta, especially agar main private space mein hu and I feel comfortable and I know ke agle ki dil. Uh, uh, دل آزاری نہیں ہوگی تو میں بہت گالم گلوچ کا استعمال میں سمجھتا ہوں ایک محبت کا اظہار کرنے کا طریقہ حالانکہ شرعی طور پہ اس کی کوئی کوئی جواز نہیں ہے میری فیملی نے مجھے ایسے نہیں پالا والد صاحب نے پوری زندگی گالی نہیں دی سو آئی ایم آلسو لٹل بٹ اشیم بٹ دا پوائنٹ آئی ایم ٹرائنگ ٹو میک از دیٹ وین یو آر بینگ ابیوزڈ اور ہراسڈ اسپیشلی دس آن لائن بزنس آئی تھنک دا 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 کانفیڈنٹ فلیکس از ٹو ناٹ رسپونڈ سو وٹ آئی وانٹ فرام مائی کنٹری از وٹ آئی وانٹ فرام مائی سیلف وچ از چھوکرا یا چھوکری جو ہے بیٹھ کے وہ مطلب ان کو دس پندرہ ہزار روپئے مل رہے ہیں اور وہ گالیاں دے رہے ہیں تو یار یو ڈونٹ ہیو ٹو اسٹو چلیں زندہ باد یار اللہ کرے ان کی پچاس ہزار تنخواہ ہو جائے اور جتنی اور گالیاں ان کو آتی ہیں وہ دل بھر کے دیں میرا نتھنگ نتھنگ گوز آف مائی فادر رائٹ اینڈ ان کی وہ آخرت کا بھی ایشو ہے وہ اللہ میاں وہ بھی ان کے لیے آسان کرے یا زندگی بھی آسان کرے بٹ دا پوائنٹ از دیٹ اٹس اے میٹر آف پرائڈ دیٹ آئی ڈونٹ رسپونڈ ٹو دیم سو اٹ شوڈ بی اے میٹر آف پرائڈ فار پاکستانیز ٹو سی این افغان دیٹس کالنگ پاکستانیز نیمز اینڈ سے یار یہ افغان ہے چالیس سال سے انہوں نے مشکلیں جو ایسے ہی ہیں اور کچھ مشکلات ایکچولی پاکستان کی وجہ سے ہوئی ہیں ان کو پاکستان کے فیصلوں کی وجہ تو اگر وہ گالیاں دے رہے ہیں یار ان کو اپنا دل ہلکا کرنے دو نیور فر گیٹ ہیپی اور ان ہیپی The Afghan-Pakistani relationship cannot be broken. And this is not about culture or Islam or deen or anything. It's about geography, yaar. Oh, itni badi pahaadeh, udar, ye nahi hatne wale. We are not going to become the neighbors of France. By the way, they don't like us either. Yeah. But, uh, but we're definitely never going to not be neighbors to Afghans. Yeah. So we may as well learn how to live with them and happily. And that includes that because he's a little brother, he's a little size, he's a little bit less, so if he's in anger, he's in anger. میں تو کوئی اتھارٹی نہیں کہ آئی ویلیڈیٹ یور اسٹیٹمنٹ بٹ میرا اپنا ایک ایکسپیرینس اندر یہاں پہ رہا اخوان ریفیوجیز کے ساتھ اپنے بھائیوں کے ساتھ کام کرنے کا ایٹ شمشتو زندیز جلو زئی جلالہ ان مردان آل دیز کیمپس ان ایوری مین کبھی بھی یہ فیلنگ کبھی بھی نہیں آئی جو بہت یہ جو ہم ہیش ٹیکس کی بات کر رہے ہیں اور ہم ایک گفتگو ہماری اس طرف بھی میں بلکہ اس پہ سوال بھی آپ سے پوچھوں گا لازمی کہ سوشل میڈیا کا بھی ہے کہ ہمارا دور چل رہا ہے اور اس پہ کس قسم کی مس انفارمیشن پھیلائی جا رہی ہے اغوان ہماری لوکل پالیٹکس میں جو ہو رہا ہے اس کے لیے تو جیسے آپ سے پہلے ذکر کیا ایک الگ پوڈ کاسٹ کرنا ہی پڑے گا آپ کے ساتھ بٹ اس معاملے کے اندر بھی افغانستان پاکستان کے اندر بھی وہ بین سینکشن پاکستان آ جاتا ہے یا ہماری مطلب اس سائڈ سے کچھ کا ریٹیلیشن آ جاتی ہے سوشل میڈیا پہ کیا ہو رہا ہے اتنی پولرائزڈ اوپینینس ہیں یہ جو آپ نے شروع میں بات کی تھی کہ تھوڑا سا ایک وقت سے گزر رہے ہیں برداشت کر لیں یا کچھ اس کے معاملے میں کچھ ہلکی طرح نہیں ہم دور سے دس از دا دس از دی ایرا آف فتنا تو اجیت دوال اور ان کے پاس پیسے بھی ٹھیک ٹھاک ہیں ان کی اکانومی اتنی گرو کی ہے تو انہوں نے ٹائم بھی بہت یہاں لگایا ہے ان کو پتہ ہے عام پاکستانی کتنا معصوم ہے تو اس کو بنانا بہت آسان ہے تو تین چار گالیاں جو ہے کسی ایک انداز میں دو کسی ایک سلینڈ کے ساتھ دو تو ایک پاکستانی نہیں دس لاکھ پاکستانی جو ہے اس پیچھے دوڑنا شروع کر دیں گے وی شوڈ وی شوڈ ہیو مور پرائڈ وی شوڈ ہیو مور پرائڈ انڈیا کے بھی بڑے ویسٹرڈ انٹرسٹ رہے ہیں اس پورے علاقے کے اندر سیزنل انڈیا کا سب سے بڑا ویسٹرڈ انٹرسٹ ہے کہ پاکستان کو کسی طرح جو ہے دباؤ اس کو سبق سکھاؤ یہ ہمیں چھوڑ کے کیسے گئے ناراض ہیں وہ بہت زیادہ بہت ناراض ہیں ہم سے یار یہ چھوڑ کے کیسے گئے ہمیں ان کو بھی بٹھا کے سمجھانے کا میرے خیال سے کچھ کوئی طریقہ ہونا چاہیے کوئی نہیں وہ اس کے لیے اس کے لیے دیکھیں افغانستان کے لیے جو میرا فارمولہ ہے وہ انڈیا کے لیے نہیں ہے کیونکہ ہم انڈیا سے چھوٹے ہیں تو ہمارا کام ہے رزسٹ کرنا اور بائی دا وے جو افغان نیشنلسٹ ہے وہ بھی یہی سمجھتا ہے کہ اس نے پاکستان کو رزسٹ کرنا ہے لیکن کیونکہ ہم بڑے ہیں تو ہم افغانستان کو ہم مینیج کر سکتے ہیں ود لو انڈیا کو ہم مینیج نہیں کر سکتے انڈیا کو انڈیا ہیز ٹو نو دیٹ دیر از اے لائن دیٹ وین انڈیا کراس از دیٹ لائن پاکستان ہیز دا کیپیبلٹی دا ولنگنیس اینڈ دی انتھوزیازم نیسیسری ٹو ڈیفینڈ اٹ سیلف ٹو اسٹینڈ
ourselves or anybody else in just one brush. Our approach to Afghanistan has to be very unique and bespoke for Afghanistan because it is, it is a problem or a challenge that is never going to go away. India is also geographically attached to us and our histories are attached. But there is a certain kind of virus in India that is not Hindutva and it is not Nehru. It is a thread running across them. And that is how dare they. And we'll teach them a lesson. And the thing is that there is no lesson that they can teach Pakistan that will reverse the events of 1947. And everything that they do now under Hindutva reaffirms the genius of qaid azam So, Pakistanis do not, I certainly, I have been a massive champion for normalization, for good relations, for friendship, in that order. Uh, trade, people to people, pyar mohabbat, koi issue nahi Lekin it has to be on terms that work for Pakistan. And the start and end of that conversation is Kashmir. If they don't want to talk about Kashmir, there is nothing to talk about. Yes. ये बात इंडिया को समझ नहीं आ रही जब हम बात कर रहे होते हैं वी वांट टू कनेक्ट पाकिस्तान एंड अफगानिस्तान का भी उसमें इकोनॉमिक एक ये दे अ वे ऑफ प्रोग्रेस कि लोगों को पावर्टी से बाहर निकाल सकते हैं एंड वी कैन कनेक्ट विद सेंट्रल एशियन रिपब्लिक्स एंड स्टार्ट डूइंग ट्रेड इंडिया कैन ऑल्सो बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस इफ दे आर एबल वट इज द प्रॉब्लम विद दैम नॉट बीन एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दे प्रॉब्लम इज दैट चौधरा हट they want they want that trade and they also by the way a lot of indians including in bjp want good relations with pakistan so I, this is something that you really have to think about so viewers ko bhi main kahunga some people in india have an incurable hatred for pakistan and the idea of pakistan unko chhod dein bahut sare log hain jo thoda bahut wo usme believe karte hain lekin actually kehte hain yaar hum bhi thak gaye hain khama khama hai hamara jo itna bada threat hai unka ab jo hai na they are also interested in countering china because they've grown so they think this pakistan thing is beneath them they shouldn't even be involved in this but they still can't help themselves yeah. acha so unko uh wo chahte hain ki pakistan se dosti ho jaye pakistan se trade ho lekin terms unke ho mm-hmm. kashmir pe baat nahi hogi koi concession nahi hoga pakistan yun jo hai hum haath rakhenge pakistan usko chumega you have to kiss the india ring or the south block ring so the thing is that at least uh, i'm not about to bend and kiss that ring and there are some people in pakistan that want to do that and i think unki soch mein they're not doing it because they're anti pakistan they also love pakistan but you know they have a different approach my approach is that you cannot show weakness to a bully so we will play ball with india and we will be friends with india but india has to meet us halfway or more than halfway because it's the bigger party it has to demonstrate a willingness to engage with us on what is important to us and it has to treat us like a sovereign equal and if it wants to have a hegemony it will never have it is 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 my idea that you can't yaar india can't even bully nepal and bangladesh and sri lanka even nepal bangladesh and sri lanka end up standing up for themselves so their expectation that pakistan will somehow you know just oh, bend over the involvement in the, it was like a lot of the viewers are young i don't know they even understand the history of ltte and the crisis that sri lanka was going through india had a massive role in yeah, that yeah. and uh, they even couldn't even sort out that but the thing is i'm not here to complain about india i think that whatever bad things are happening to pakistan are fully in the power of pakistan because just like on social media i don't want to blame outsiders i think we have to do better even with this india thing i think that uh, there are moments in our history in the last 10 15 years and i can name them if you'd like Please. where we could have behaved differently as pakistan and we wouldn't be in the mess that we're in with india today we wouldn't be our brothers and sisters in kashmir wouldn't be suffering the, the, the way that they're suffering if we had made different choices i certainly think the let uh, uh, sort of and jaish e mohammed sort of freedoms uh, after i i would say after 1999 2000 they shouldn't have had those freedoms i certainly think that kargil should never have happened i certainly think nawaz sharif shouldn't have fired jk uh, jangir karamat um i certainly think that general musharraf uh, shouldn't have pretended to be a, a peace nick with his four point formula when he was the architect of the kargil uh, you know sort of fiasco and disaster which has cost pakistan strategically at a fundamental level on global affairs not not just with respect to india i think uh, if there was any way of uh, preventing mumbai those people and those uh, you know uh, organizations uh, should have uh, i don't think india will ever recover from mumbai and so as a pakistani when i say the uh, the things that i say indians are like what what is this guy's attitude dude 
ڈڈ یو سی وٹ یور یور پیپل ڈڈ ٹو اس ان کا یہ ایٹیٹیوڈ ہے اب میں کہتا ہوں یار وہ جو ہمارے پیپل کیا ہے مطلب آپ نے خود کشمیر میں مسئلہ پالا ہے ایل ای ٹی از اے پروڈکٹ آف دا پرابلم ان کشمیر باقی بیچ میں ایک ایلیمنٹ ہے کہ پاکستان نے انگیج کیا اس گروپ کے ساتھ اس کو یہاں پہ فنڈ ریزنگ کرنے دی وہاں پہ یہاں پہ رہے تھے لیکن پاکستان از پیڈ دا پرائز فار دیٹ انٹرنیشنلی اینڈ اینڈ ڈومیسٹک انکلوڈنگ بائی مائی سیلف آن جنرل باجوا فار سم ادر ڈومیسٹک پولیٹیکل اسٹف آئی تھنک in his enduring contribution inshallah will be and i say inshallah because i think we need this to sustain we can never go back to uh, these groups they are internationally sanctioned terrorists it doesn't matter that they stand for an issue that you know we all agree is an important issue they broke international law and uh, and pakistan needs to support the people of kashmir within the realm of what is legal and what is acceptable globally It's the same standards that I have for Pakistan that I have for my Afghan sisters and brothers. You see conversation, I said to you, if the Afghans want to play ball with the rest of the world, they have to find a way of accepting what is minimum acceptable behavior. And if uh, somebody says, this is the grand norm, hai, right? This, these, these, uh, these international norms, there's a lot of hypocrisy. Absolutely. The powerful always get more. So become powerful. How do you become powerful? By becoming the Taliban? Well, maybe in Afghanistan. But I don't see the Taliban. I mean, there's 200 plus countries on the planet. Yeah. There's only one Taliban. And there's a lot of times that Afghanistan is talking location. Ke baat ho. It's a landlocked country. And that's Switzerland is a landlocked country. Hungary, Kazakhstan. There's dozens. There's dozens. dozens. There's and dozens. they have done well. And prim- primarily, it's their relations with the neighboring countries. How they have those relations and they're exporting and importing stuff. Yeah, and it's skill. It's competence. Yeah, it's, exactly. Nobody makes a watch like the Swiss. Nobody makes chocolate like the Swiss. Nobody makes banks like the Swiss. They're the best in the world at three things. Shit, like, I mean, how dare an Afghan compare themselves with, with Switzerland? Not because they can't, because here's my belief. This is my faith in Allah. Like, really, like, my almost religious belief is that there is nothing that the Swiss and the French and the Germans can do that the Pakistanis and the Tajiks and the Afghans can't do. Yeah. We can do all of that. We can do it better than them. And plus, I think we're all better looking than them anyway, so, <laughs> yeah. which is a very parochial and, you know, borderline. I mean, I, I don't think it's racist at all. I really do think we're better looking, so, uh, you know. Brown people, we are, we, we, we are going to take the lead. I think some right? Afghans and Tajiks might take exception to being called brown. But, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we take too much pride in that color. Thank you, Mr. Zedi Saab, for your time uh, today and sharing your insights. It will definitely help the audience to understand the situation in Afghanistan better and why peace and stability is needed in this region for people of both the country, be it Afghanistan and uh, Pakistan. But thank you very much for taking time for us. We have a lot of time today. We have a lot of discussion in this discussion. I'm really glad we had a chance to talk. Uh, Khaja Saab, I think that there was a lot of focus on Afghanistan. I was very focused on it. بار بار چیزوں کو گھما کے پاکستان کی طرف لا رہا تھا اس کا میں بس مقصد جو ہے وہ آپ کو پھر سے ریٹریٹ کر دوں ہم نے بطور پاکستانی ہونے کے بحثیت پاکستانی افغان آئیڈینٹی کو انٹیگریٹ اور نارملائز کرنا ہے کہ وہ دی ادر جو ہے جس طرح ہم دیکھتے ہیں نا کہ یہ بہت کوئی ڈفرینٹ چیز ہے کیونکہ وہاں طالبان ہے اس کو ہم نے یا کیونکہ وہاں امریکہ تھا یا وہاں روس تھا ہمیں یہ سوچنا ہے کہ یہ ہمارے ساتھ بھی ہو سکتا تھا کہ افغان ایلیٹس اور پاکستان ایلیٹ میں اگر فرق ہے تو وہ اٹھارہ بیس انیس بیس کا فرق ہے اور یہ کہ جو چیزیں یہاں پہ اسٹیبلٹی اور جو چیزیں ہمیں پریونٹ کرتی ہیں افغانستان بننے سے ان کے لیے ہم اللہ کا شکر ادا کریں ہماری سوورنٹی ہماری اسٹیبلٹی جو لگتی نہیں ہے اسٹیبل بٹ کمپیئر ٹو افغانستان ہے تو وہ کیا کیا چیزیں ہیں یہ میں آپ کے اور ویورس کی امیجنیشن پہ چھوڑ دیتا ہوں بٹ وی ہیو ٹو تھنک تھرو وٹ دوز تھنگس آر آئی تھنک اٹس دا کانسٹیٹیوشن اٹس دی انسٹیٹیوشن آف ڈیموکریسی اٹ از دا پاکستان ملٹری our air force our navy our ssgs our army uh, it's our judiciary it's our bureaucracy these are the five most malign things in pakistan sabse zyada galiyan hum in cheezon ko dete hain if you want to become afghanistan then keep going galiyan dete raho aur afghano ke liye ye sab cheezein jo hain ye valuable hain so we have to think about a way in which they can be stable and we can be stable when we can all grow together inshallah hey, thank you so much thank you so much for your insights uh, thank you to all of you for watching the episode today please do share your feedback in the comment section and if you like our content uh, please don't forget to share it and subscribe to our channel uh, thank you for being uh, there and watching this episode 
we'll be uh, right back with a new episode very soon until next time allah hafiz